Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with some book pages and I thought let's come along and just make some super quick and easy um, book page envelopes. So I'm going to just show you a couple that I'm going to be making and how, you know, how to make them. Then I'm going to take them off to the sewing machine and then we'll come back and decorate some. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just using, I've got a couple of different size book pages here. So I'm going to double them up because they're not that thick. So, you know, I just prefer to ensure that they're, you know, a bit more robust. So all I'm going to do is just glue them together. Like that. Okay, a bit of glue down the middle there. Pop that together. Oh, I'm so sorry if you can hear so much traffic. I'm filming this really early in the day. Um, everyone else is still asleep. It's literally only about 7.30 and I thought it would be quite quiet out there. I've got the window open because it's quite warm today. Um, and yeah, I've obviously now hit the morning traffic. So I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so this is doubled over. So it's, you know, just slightly thicker, which is obviously going to make it more durable. And all I'm going to do is literally fold this over. I want to have my text kind of right way up if possible. So keeping it like that and then fold the flap down like that okay and that's all there is to that and then I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine now you will note I've left a biggish gap here because I want to have plenty of room to be able to tuck things into that envelope of course you could kind of put it right you know right up it's up to you really I personally like to have a bit of a you know larger gap like I say to have plenty of room but it's completely up to you. And, you know, if you wanted to have it further up and then a thumb hole, that's another alternative. Um, but yeah, I kind of quite like to just have a bit of space there. And then you've got a lot of room. Plus it obviously makes the depth of your envelope a little bit larger. So that's all there is to it. I will just show you another one. Okay, so we'll just quickly do another one. So I've just got, again, a couple of pages here. Just going to glue them together. Like that. Okie dokie. And like that. Okay, and then again, just take your glue spreader. Spread that glue. And then again, just take your envelope and then fold it up. So, on like that. And then your flap obviously coming over like that and that's literally all there is to that so i'm going to just quickly you know assemble them a few so i've got a few here and then i'll come back and we'll decorate some right i'm back from the sewing machine so i've done quite a few as you can see so yep all we're going to do is just kind of decorate some up make them look pretty ready to use obviously in our journals and any that we don't decorate I'll probably just leave blank and then I've got sort of a whole bunch here in my stash a bit like the mass making that I can just pull in to use you know as and when and then decorate them up according to what you know what my project is. So yep let's just pull them in and you know get decorating. So obviously it's going to depend, you know, whether I'm going to be clipping it in or gluing it down as to how decorated I want it to be, i.e. do I want to decorate the back and the front. So I'm going to just start by just decorating just the fronts, I think, on some of these because actually I will probably, you know, quite often just use them glued straight into a journal like that. So let's just take this one, for example. I've just got this green label here, which looks pretty straight away, doesn't it? I don't even feel like it needs anything else much at all. Oh, that flower's lovely on there. So something like that. Uh, let's just see what lace I've got laying around. Um, probably need a finish, finish lace. Maybe something like that. I mean, that's not really, it's not really the color that I would like. I'm going to just coffee dye it, uh, not coffee dye it, sorry, distress it with the distress ink and see whether it looks better because I feel it's a bit a bit ivory looking really oh that's much better isn't it so yeah all I'm going to do is just glue this down so I will just glue the whole thing down I'm not going to glue it as a pocket or anything like that so the whole thing just glued on 
like that. These are my green labels from my uh, historical buildings green set. So we made a journal from the brown, the brown set, I think. So, yep, there we go. Looks super pretty. And then I'm just going to have this lace here. I'm just going to literally hot glue this on because that's just nice and quick. So just a line of hot glue there. Pop that down like that. Trim that down on the side. Oops. And then this flower, this was just a mulberry, you know, one of those mulberry flowers. I actually spilt my tea and so that's why it's got these weird colorations on it. Um, because it was laying around on the desk when I spilt my tea, but actually it's making it kind of tie in even better because now it's got some green, bluey green tinges, which actually just match that label perfectly, don't they? So that like that, and then do I want to have any pearly centre or anything? Let's just have a look. I've got some pearls here to the side. Yeah, should we just have a little pearl centre? Oops, on the flower. Oh my goodness. Come on. Or a pearl centre off off centre. <laughs> okay. Like that. How gorgeous is that envelope? And <laughs> literally, I mean we've put barely anything on there, just a label, a bit of lace and a flower. Gorgeous, gorgeous, isn't it? So that's that one. Okay, let's bring in another one. Oh, I've just got this little bird. This is just a stamped image, so I might just, yeah, just kind of loosely fussy cut this out, so I'm not going to be too precise in my fussy cutting. Oops. I've had this stamp for a very long time. I couldn't even tell you, I'm afraid, what stamp this was. It may have been a Dovecraft stamp. I mean, I've literally had it probably about 15 years. Um, you know, so a really, really long time. It's just been stamped onto some coffee dyed paper. Um, but yeah, it may look may look nice on here. It's a little bit lost, I think, on that background page. You know, it possibly could do with something to make it stand out a bit more. Let's just try a bit of paper. I'm going to put it on there. Well, that's making it stand out much better, isn't it? So tear that down so it's a bit smaller just have that on there like that and then yeah like that I think so probably need to just take that little edge down I'm just grabbing things that are laying around on the desk I'm not not worrying at all about what I'm pulling in I'm just you know if it's laying around it's being grabbed that's how I feel like rolling today just anything and everything i'm so sorry about that noise honestly since i've been at the sewing machine it actually seems to have got even noisier so i do apologize okay so i'm going to put that down there and again i think what i'm going to do is that same lace because that looked really pretty on the last one didn't it so i'm just going to again just distressing that up very pretty and this lace seems to just take the distressing really 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 well so yeah, let's put that there, put that little bird down there. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Really, really sweet, doesn't it? So yeah, just a bit of glue there. Okay. Oh, love how that looks. Okay, press that down like that and then here we just have our bit of lace running across okay and just put that slightly higher so it's not covering the bird's face completely like that just snip that away oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look and i'm just thinking could we have a bow to you know really really finish that off lovely so hold on a second. Oh dear. Yeah, that bow looks pretty, doesn't it? Now that bow, as you can see, I mean, that little leg, as I call them, you know, from the bow, it's going off to the side. I don't really mind about that. So I'm just going to glue it down 
as is rather than just trying to force that leg down. Oh, perhaps I will. Perhaps I will. Yeah, I suddenly had a change of mind at the last minute. Okay, so I've forced, forced that leg to like, you know, go down a bit. So that's that one. How gorgeous is that? Okay, let's do another one. So this one's slightly different book page. So hopefully it's going to have a bit of a, you know, bit of a different look to it. Now, just having a quick scout around on the desk to see what I've got here. I've got some of my butterflies here. Oh, that's going to be very pretty, isn't it? So again, just thinking, possibly a bit of lace on there and maybe, maybe the butterfly on there as well. And then just want to think what to put down here. I'm thinking maybe a dictionary definition or something like that. So let me just pull them in. Yeah, maybe something like that. And I probably am going to distress ink this envelope as well because this book page is slightly more cream or ivory coloured rather than this one, which, you know, naturally looks sort of more antique looking, doesn't it? So let's just pop this down. Oh, I'm so sorry. That traffic's just getting worse and worse. I'm going to have to close the window in a minute because, um, yeah, I'm sure it's not really great listening to it. So I just really am so sorry. Okay. So we've got that there. Let's just glue on the lace. Like that. Snip that off here. Okay. Oops. Now I was thinking obviously the butterfly there. I'm just going to check that I wouldn't prefer to move it around. And I'm just now thinking perhaps a wax seal or something on here might be nice. Oh. I did a whole bunch of wax seals the other day, but as usual, I'm now looking and don't appear to have one. That's quite right. I mean, that's not too bad. Mm. Oh, perhaps that's a bit weird. I mean, it looks good here, doesn't it, on the centre, but then do we like the butterfly there? Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. I don't think that's the right wax seal, if I'm truthful. What about that one? That's slightly better, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we'll have that. So I'm just going to distress ink that envelope. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. We now have, yeah, more traffic. Okay, keep. I mean, it's amazing sometimes the difference that just the distress ink makes, isn't it? So like that. I don't think this really is going to show up a great deal on this butterfly because of course he's quite deep colour anyway but you know we've just put a bit on him as well now do we want some ribbon on there just wondering got some greyish ribbon here that's quite nice Hold on. Oops. it's caught up under a bunch of stuff on my desk so sorry about that let's just see just see whether we want to have yeah should we do that so what I might do is just distress ink the ribbon. Just so it's a little less grey, a bit more brown. Okay, turn it over because sometimes when you do those weird shape things, you know, with the ribbon, you can sometimes see the underneath of the ribbon as well. So it's kind of a good idea to distress ink both sides. So oops, just take that round like that. Just glue that down. Okay, just snip that there and there, okay, oops, like that, yeah, I think that looks really, really lovely, doesn't it? So, right, I'm going to glue the butterfly down. kind of hanging off a bit but that's fine I don't mind that then we'll glue this down just there hopefully that's roughly in the middle and then the wax seal as well okay like that 
Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that one? Each one that I do, I kind of think, oh, I like that one best now. Oh, I like that one best. Oh, don't know, I like that one best. Yeah, just really loving how they're all coming out. They all look really pretty, don't they? So let's do another one in that book page because it's nice to do, you know, a couple of different ones, isn't it? So again, just kind of scouring around on the desk, seeing what I've got here that I can use. I've actually got a load of, load of pieces that I've fussy cut out here, actually. So let's just see. Oh, my envelope's seen better days. <laughs> this is where I've kind of taken them around. Um, probably at my mum's house. And yeah, now they're, you know, the envelope that I put them all in, it's now falling apart. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely past its, past its best now. Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, I've got those as well. They're quite nice. Um, Mm -hmm. Oh, I've also got these from my little ephemera pieces. I think that's set four or five. Um, so, you know, just to kind of have like some really different looks so they're not looking quite so samey, samey. Or I could have something like that. I mean, she is quite large. But yeah, I mean, she could even go, could even go on the flap, to be honest. Right, let me again just... Distressing the envelope actually first. Because again, this is that one that's, you know, that slightly whiter looking book page. So it's just quite kind of distressing that one. Okay, and then just take her and just distressing here just in case. Should I distressing the front? Yeah, nice as well. Might as well, while we're distressing in everything going on. Okay. So I'm wondering about that. Actually, let me just, let me just distressing the lace now. It's just loving how that was looking. Okay. So, yeah, I'm wondering if I were to have the lace there and her there. No. Oh, how about like that? So she's on the flap. Could even have like a Velcro dot or something here. That might be quite nice. And I wonder if we could have some sort of doily or decorative paper or something here as well. Or maybe something else. Uh, let me just see what that would look like. That's quite nice, isn't it, actually? Yeah, quite like that. So let me just distress ink this. Okay. Right. So she is going to go on here now. Right. I want to do that roughly halfway. Like that. Okay. So she's now on the flat. Just want to wipe out any excess glue from there. that just make sure she's down far enough so that if this was glued onto a page she's not going to get damaged at all so yeah just moving her down very fractionally okay then I'm thinking this here because that looks quite pretty doesn't it and then that there looks quite nice and maybe we could have either a wax seal or a butterfly or something as well. I don't know whether that's going to be too big. I mean, it's not too bad. I wonder if I've got some different coloured ones. Because I'm thinking something, yeah, something more green. Mm. They're probably a little bit on the big side, to be honest. Well, that one's not too bad. These are some of my layered butterflies. We've done the layered butterflies in the mass making. They're really nice and really fun to just have on hand to be able to pull in. Okay. So yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? And then a bit of lace down there. Possibly something like that. I think that looks very pretty. 
You know, it's a bit different, isn't it, that one? So, yeah, let's just pop some, pop some hot glue down here. Just put that lace on there. Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. And then the butterfly, yeah, just kind of there, I think, to the side. Oh, how pretty does that look? Love how that looks. Right, for the next one, I've just suddenly got this urge to do um, some ribbon, I think, on it. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, let's take this here. And again, this one is that paler book page. So I might have to just dress ink this one as well. So let me just oh, get rid of the threads. I thought I'd got rid of all of them, but yeah, I'll obviously, obviously missed that one. So let's just ink this up. Okay. Like that. Okay, that's really pretty, isn't it? And then, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe have like some ribbon tied around it. So we could even just go for, I mean, I just happen to have this gray ribbon here. I'm thinking tie it in a bow around the envelope. So let me just distress ink a lot of this ribbon. So we're going to have to have quite a bit to, you know, cover all that's going to be there. So, yeah. Like that. I'm probably inking way, way, way too much now, but yeah, you want quite a long strip if you're tying a bow, which we obviously will be. So, yeah, let's just make sure we get plenty. Okay, right. So, I'm going to start by tying the bow. I will decorate this up as well, but let's start by tying the bow. Okay, like that. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? I love it without even anything on there. So yeah, I mean, I do I do love kind of when things are a bit tied up like this. They're very, very pretty, aren't they? So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue to just hold that ribbon in place. And I've pressed it quite hard, so hopefully we haven't got any lumpy bumpy bits from the glue. So we've just got that ribbon on there. I'm straight away thinking that lace is going to look gorgeous on here. So, yeah, ink up some more of that. Let's just pop that under there for a minute. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous does that look? Love how that looks. It's so delicate looking. Love the fact that, you know, you now untie it. So, yeah, let's pop that down there. Like that, okay. Oh, that's so gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that looks really good. And then, hmm, what should we put on the bottom? Oh, I'm so sorry. Just again, another really, really noisy um, truck. Uh, oh, let's just have a quick look through see the dictionary definitions maybe because I'm thinking something not colorless but you know more more colorless I think on here with the um you know as we've just got that gray bow mm. and that's quite pretty let me just have a look and see what else I've got whether I might have anything better um Mm -hmm. I've got my labels. Let's just see if we've got, you know, a nice label that we could use at all. Oh, what about something like this? Yeah, oh, that one's quite nice. Let me just ink this up. So this, I think, is from my label set two. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Yeah, I love how that looks. And again, it's just simplicity, isn't it? I mean, just adding like one or two things, so not smothering it with, you know, all sorts of stuff, but just literally one or two decorative pieces. And that's kind of just, yeah, elegance, I think. So, you know, not going too mad or over decorating, you know, but just one or two things. And that just is all it needs, you know, just for that gorgeous, you know, understated sort of look. Just going to pull in this uh, mulberry flower, which again, I spilt my tea on. So I think it started out pink, but it may have started out a different colour. I'm wondering, we could have that there, maybe there. Or actually, I've just noticed I've got a little satin type flower trim. That might be better. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, where do we want it? Maybe down there. Because I'm just thinking when it's tied, you know, you won't really notice it if it's under the bow, will you? So, yeah, we'll have it down here. Just so it's got, you know, showing up a little bit more. Again, could just ink that up a little touch. And we will just tie that one up. Oops. it like that oh my goodness how gorgeous is that one oh I'm gonna have to do another one with a, a ribbon I'm afraid because um yeah that's probably my favorite one so let's do another one of them so I've got this one now this is made from slightly bigger book page um it's uh what do you call it um you know uh slightly brittle that's the word I was looking for so I have to be a little bit careful of this one um but hopefully it will, you know, will be fine. So let's bring in some ribbon. I'm wondering, wondering about purple, strangely enough. Let me just bring in this purple, because I just thought that's going to look very pretty against this coloration of this book page, I think. So I might just ink it up a bit Oops. as well. I mean, it's quite a discoloured paper anyway, so, you know, it... It was quite, not brown, but you know, aged, aged looking. Um, but I will just kind of ink it up a little bit as well. Like that, okay. Right, let's tie this ribbon round. Now, don't think Distress Ink's going to do a lot on this purple. Oh, maybe it does actually. Yeah, perhaps it does. I was thinking, oh, I won't bother Distress Ink in this because it's not really going to do much, but it maybe does more than I at first expected. So, yeah, let's go along and ink all of that as well. Okay. Like that. I mean, again, it doesn't really matter if we haven't actually distress inked, you know, it thoroughly. It's just going to give an overall, you know, an overall aged effect. It doesn't have to be 100% covered or anything. We're just, you know, we're just doing what we can. Oops, and the underneath. Right, okay. Right, let's tie the ribbon round just like we did on the other one. As a starting point and then we can build up from there so let's just tie that round okay oh i love how that looks i mean that just looks like a birthday present doesn't it having the purple i think okay right i just have to even those sides out a little bit better because one side seems drastically longer than the other. Okay, is that better? Oops, I think that's a bit better. Right, so let me tie that round again. Then we can glue it on the back so it's not moving. Like that, okay, right, a little dab of glue. Okay. Loving how that looks. Just quickly undo that now. Now, again, shall we have some of this ribbon? 
uh, not ribbon, lace that we have been using. Oh, actually wondering whether not to distress the lace this time. Or perhaps I should actually. I've just got that edge which you can still see is distressed and actually I think it does, does look good. So yeah, let's just go along that. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? Right, now wondering what I've got that might be purple. Or, actually I have got pinky labels, so I'm just wondering, could I make do with the pink? Let's have a quick look here. Mm, I've got that, that's quite pretty. Mm. Mm. Pull out a couple of different pieces and just you know to just have a look yeah um oh oh i'm now coming up suddenly yeah spotting all sorts not saying any of these things are going to be quite right or go or anything else but because my eyes are landing on them i'm just yeah pulling them out thinking oh let's try all these different bits and bobs so yeah i'm not in any way trying to say oh they're going to be quite right but let's have a look and see. We maybe maybe we should just do a really really colourful one. What do you think? Because we've been quite um, you know quite restrained and quite understated, I think, with the others. So yeah, shall we? Shall we just really go for it on this one and make this one like super super colourful? Or well, we might just make it look hideous. But anyway, let's, let's have a look. So I'm just pulling out a whole bunch of things. And then we can play around with all these different bits and pieces. I love it. You know, when you've had a mass fussy cut um, session, when you then go through things that you've obviously forgotten that were in there. It's, um, yeah, a bit like an Aladdin's cave. And it's like, ooh, got all these different bits to choose from now. Kind of spoilt for choice. So, yeah, let's just... Right, let's just bring in a whole bunch. So... <gasps> Oh, too much, too much stuff now to choose from. Let's, let's have a quick look. So we have got the purple, em uh, purple, oh, purple ribbon. So let's just keep that there, you know, roughly in place so we remember that we've got that. So I was kind of thinking, shall we make this like really colourful? I'm not sure whether, yeah, I might just make this look really horrible. Um, what if we did something like that? Oh, that's looking quite lovely, I must say. And then something like maybe a label under there. Oh, that's really pretty, actually, I think. So, yeah, maybe something like that. So, right, going to now have to glue all these bits in place. So let's glue this down first. Just using my wet glue here for the moment. Okay. So this is going to be partially covered, obviously, by that lace. Like that. Okay. Like that. So we're going to then put the lace over. Like that. Like that. Okay. And let's just snip that down. Okie dokie. Right, let's give this a little bit of ink. Oh, I hope I haven't made this look horrible. I mean, yeah, I liked the look of it just now, but now I'm feeling a bit nervous. Now I'm actually going for it and gluing bits down and thinking, oh gosh, this is possibly going to look dreadful. Oh, I hope. I hope not. Right, let's put that there. Like that. Okay, press that down. Now, this clock obviously is quite big, so I don't necessarily want it all on there, so I'm thinking maybe have it hanging off to the side. Or actually, hmm, maybe that side. Maybe that side, actually, it looks okay. So let's just quickly dressing this so the green labels are from my junk journal basics kit and this is from my again the victorian ephemera set i think it's five so if you were 
you know, wondering what the pieces were. Um, right, I just, again, just ink that flower. have got a larger, larger purple flower, which maybe, you know, would bring that purple in a bit more. So, yeah, I'm thinking kind of more like that. And then we could probably have that flower up there. Oh, my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Yummy, yummy. Because once we do that up like a little parcel, it's hopefully going to look even prettier. So, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry about that truck again. <laughs> Just driving me potty. I've also got some of this eyelash trim, which... Um, yeah, I'm only pulling it in because it is that green colour. So I'm just wondering whether I might have that anywhere. Let me just try and see if I can tie a bow from this at all. I don't know. This might just look like a sort of piece of rag once it's once it's tied into a bow. I'm not sure. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, not too bad, actually. Hold on. Oh my goodness, come on, come on, come on. Right. Uh, it's quite pretty. What do, what do we think to that? Or oh, I wonder whether I could have that. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on. What about... Oh no, that's very weird. Very, very weird. Yeah. Oh, it's just mm, looking more peculiar every time I put it anywhere. Right, let me just glue these bits down. So I'm just going to glue this flower down. I'm just using the hot glue now because it's gluing onto a few different layers, which are sort of different thicknesses. So I just want to make sure it's glued down nicely and instantly, you know, without again having to worry about it. This one I'm going to put on this side. Like that. So I've gone from being very minimalist with the first couple and saying, oh, you know, we don't need hardly any bits on here. You know, we've been very um, restrained and not put many bits on to now. I've like smothered this. It's, it's got stuff all over it. Oh, well, at least we've got different looks, haven't we now? So I'm just going to try a bit of bling because whilst I'm, whilst I'm smothering it with everything, I might as well really go all out and, you know, put, put more stuff on here. So let's just have a look. Yeah, I think I probably prefer the bling to the eyelash trim. I, yeah, still can't really make myself get on very well with the eyelash trim, to be honest. Okay, right. Like that. Oops. Just try not to knock that too much. Come on. There we go, like that. And we will just then wrap this up like a parcel. Okay. Oh my goodness, don't you love these colours? Oh, that's so scrummy, isn't it? Absolutely scrumptious. So we should probably call it there uh, for a day there. And um, yeah, I mean, I've got three more that I haven't decorated yet. So like I say, I might put those just in my stash ready to decorate you know, when I come to use them, so that I've got some, you know, ready to decorate, or perhaps we'll come back and decorate some another time, because I have had a lot of fun here today. Um, but these are the ones that we have decorated, so I think, you know, we've got some really nice different looks here, um, you know, and yeah, I mean, obviously, we've got now six envelopes ready decorated to use in our journals, and we have got another three ready to decorate. So, Hopefully you feel inspired and, you know, have fun if you're going to do some. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.